September 18, 2017, Ashanti Billy was abducted from a Virginia naval base. The Ashanti Alert Act isn't the first time. At 19, she was too old for an Amber Alert and too young for a Silver Alert. There have been other bills people have tried to get pushed for their loved ones before, years past. For whatever various reasons, nothing came of it. Ashanti was found murdered across state lines in Charlotte, North Carolina. Had something came of those, it could have saved our daughter. So her parents, Meltoni and Brandy Billy, lobbied Congress to create a notification system for adults who might be in danger and fall into that age gap. Their efforts paid off. The Ashanti alert was signed into law on New Year's Eve 2018. We just want to help save someone else's loved one, their mother, father, sister, brother, whoever it is. But they tell WUSA 9, in reality, the loophole has not been fixed because that system is not operational yet. We're wasting time. The Billies believe wasting time in this case could cost lives. They're known now across the country, becoming a support system of sorts for others whose loved ones go missing. We get texts and we get phone calls and we get emails like, I'm in this situation, what do I do? You can only give them really just words of comfort, you know, but our desire is to do more. To know that there's something in place, a law that could save this person and, and maybe bring them home, it's heartbreaking all over again because you want to be able to tell that person, this is in place, this can help you. but. It hasn't moved forward yet. It's not available for you. Virginia Senator Mark Warner pushed through the legislation. I'm disappointed that the Justice Department hasn't gone ahead and implemented this alert. Wednesday morning, he followed up with this letter demanding an in-person meeting, saying he hasn't been able to get appropriate answers. And I'm going to stay on him until this system goes live and that everyone knows if, if someone is disappeared or goes missing, there's an ability for the family then to put them on this alert system so that we can involve the community in trying to find these disappeared persons. We tried for weeks to get answers from DOJ as well. We asked, where does the Ashanti Alert Act implementation stand? Is there a timeline and what are the holdups? We finally got a response. A spokesperson says so far they've identified a program coordinator and assembled an internal working group. But there is no set timeline for implementation. There's not a timeline. Are you serious? Are you telling me lives can continue to come up missing? People can continue, families can continue to hurt. Families can continue to suffer. Just whenever we feel it's time for them to stop suffering, then we'll, we'll, we'll do something. Virginia did something quickly. They enacted a state version of the alert. And three months later, state police sent out the first one. Since then, they've sent out a handful more. In half of the cases, the victims were found alive in about 24 hours. All were abductions. DOJ says it is examining how this new system can be created based on existing ones. We don't have to reinvent the wheel. It's already there. In the meantime, Brandy and Meltoni Billy say this is about so much more than a delay in their daughter's legacy. Of course, it's going to always be about Ashanti, but it's not going to bring her back. And it's our desire to make sure that no one else has to suffer what we've gone through. It's just absolutely heartbreaking, Laura. We can understand his pain. He wants to see action so badly. He doesn't want this to happen to anyone else. What is the next logical step here? He does want action, and Senator Warner is trying to get some. His letter says that he wants a briefing with key people responsible for the next steps. We don't know, though, yet if DOJ will do that and when that meeting would be. And as for the next steps in the criminal case against the man accused of Ashanti's death? Well, the case has not gone to trial yet. There are concerns about Eric Brown's mental capacity. Right now, he is being treated at a federal facility, and I have more on the case on our WUSA 9 mobile app and website. Laura Geller, thank you.